Sup guys, Heat King here, bringing you a live reaction to One Piece chapter 956. Big news. So it's been a long time since I last did a One Piece review or reaction, so this is me maybe trying to get back into it, especially with Arc, with Act 2 of Wano now over, and now we're getting into Act 3, 4, and 5. Um, obviously this is the start of Act 3, and uh, if you guys know it's following what, like the traditional Japanese sort of plays, and Act 2 is always the longest, and now we've gone through that long, long act, and now we're on to Act 3. And this chapter apparently is a doozy going by, you know, the uh, leaks that have come out for it, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this and maybe getting back into it. That and also uh, my Attack on Titan reactions got, got lost for the recent one, so I thought I might as well, uh, what do you call it? Uh, compensate for something else in it, so one piece it is. And here we go, starting now, one page, page one. So the cover page, if you guys have known, we're following Gang B, Gang Beige, we're, we're, follow, we're following Capone basically, and uh, I, think, I believe they got to Dress Rosa, so yeah, uh, Gang Gang Beige's Oh My Family Volume 7. Hey, if it isn't Lola, so you really managed to find a husband. Who says that? So we've got. We've got Lola. Oh, this guy that they're meeting, who I assume is 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 at Dress Rosa. He recognizes what's her face. Um, I forgot her name. Get Capone's wife as Lola, but obviously that's her sister. So you know, and there's a, there's a sign that Saint Westport, and that it's obviously Dress Rosa. I think so. It's gonna be interesting to see what they find. And there's two guys that are knocked out. Uh, the Marines. It looks like the Marines because one of them's got a hat and it's an M and uh, looks like an A written there. So yeah, definitely Marines there that are on Dressrosa Island. Anyway, look at that. Spending one minute on on the cover page. Let, let's get into the actual chapter. So we're arriving at the actual chapter and yeah, we're, we're I think we're at where? What is this? We're underwater. I think yeah, we're underwater. Fishman Island, oh right, yeah, we, uh, the Raigu Kingdom, Raigu Castle, on the other hand, the state of the world. So yeah, we are going back to the reverie, I think, and immediately we we got the, f the first character talk is Grub. Good job enduring the long journey there and back, and now it's, uh, I think this is, uh, what was her name, Nirunot, Roshi, Niroshiru, God, I forgot the character's names because it's been, it's been so long, uh, the giant mermaid, basically, who was presided. Uh, thank you very much, Luffy's grandfather, Sama. And now we got a we got a, we got a panel of of her with her dad Neptune and her brothers and there's Gob encased in a bubble so I think that helps him to breathe underwater here in this section. I bet you're tired, Neptune. Wahaha! <laughs> I'm beat. Why don't you rest up too, Gob? Well, I'll take a cup of tea, but I don't have time to rest with the way things are right now. The reverie always causes a stir. I don't know what that stir is? It's kind of a shame we didn't. Yeah, it's kind of a shame we didn't get to hear what all the characters wanted to talk about. Like, it's kind of disappointing. But uh, anyway, we're coming to a little quick flashback panel here uh, of some dubious characters sitting down. I don't recognize any of these. Uh, uh, to to have them look at the button heads. There's no way a gathering of fifty countries would simply end with them all saying, "Let oh, so let's just get along." While each country has their own hardships, the strong silently glare at one another, while those underneath them fight openly like dogs. Resources and technology are just their tools for power. I don't know who these two are that we're seeing, but they've got bats in their hands. So yeah, it's a complicated situation, I guess. Uh, and obviously Gob's getting his tea, that's nice. Uh, because of their defying wealths and faiths, those royals have a hard time standing alongside one another. Even if they do end up working together, they'll eventually trample over each other and smile while doing it. How many kings out there do you think would truly fight for their citizens and the betterment of the other countries? That round table is wasted on them. Makes a good point, doesn't it? Uh, I think now we're cutting to Neptune. I agree that the discourse between rulers can be quite explosive, but it's the same for us. It's deep rooted in our history, after all. And back to Grop, or. No, no, I think we're still with Neptune, is it? As long as no blood is spilled, I'd normally count it as peaceful, but. I think this is Grop talking. This time it's different. They kind of look similar with the. 
You know, this is definitely Grom because his nose is, is smaller than Neptune's. It's got this long beak-like nose in it. So, no, it's definitely Grom saying that now. And now we're cutting to the next page, page six, and Grom's still talking. I should have told you earlier, but there's one thing you're unaware of. After the reverie ended, right after we left, there was an incident. The report came in while we were on the ship. So, obviously, Neptune and uh, Nero Shiro, I think is her name. They're, again, sort of interested about this situation. Uh... The Marines are doing their utmost to resolve it, but please, I beg of you, do not fear the humans on the surface because of it, okay? It's regarding the Alabaster Kingdom, huh? Viva Sama, so Nero, Nero is uh, a bit surprised by this news. What's this regarding Viva? What happened? We know Cobra's sick and he went there to ask the Elders something, I think. I don't, I don't know if it was about the... Uh, the void century or the weapon maybe but uh yeah we didn't and funny enough yeah we're going back to we're going back to Mary Joe's and uh Panga Panganar Castle so presently it has been a week since the reverie entered it was a tribulate tri reverie as always so it's been a week since the since since the straw has gotten have gotten to Wano and and between now and then it's been a week it felt like a lot more time has passed but no it's only been a week then so that's that's kind of crazy like when you think about where where the reverie started and ended and then what one all began because i was like volume 90 wasn't it uh the end of volume 90 and now uh we're, we're on volume 95 94 95 now so it's kind of it's it's, it's insane so yeah we got the big ass castle there that we saw with all the fog and that like covering certain things up um uh, we're introducing we're introduced to these guys. We don't know who they are, but uh, I think the seeing I think these are some of the leaders that are seeing some of the ships go off. The representatives from the various countries of the world are making their way back home. Now let's turn back time a bit. So this is old, obviously narrating for us turning time back a bit. World Economic Newspaper Publishing Office. World. Okay, so we're cutting to where all the newspapers are in. I guess this this the news just keeps coming in. I'm surprised there weren't even more scoops. We'll make some amazing headlines out of these. Ruraru Ruraru. President, what should we publish on the front page? So, if I remember, Morgan is the president. Yeah, Morgan, yeah, there we go. N next page, page 8, and we're introduced, re we're inter re reintroduced to Morgan's. Um, and he's shouting his ass off. There was a death. There was a death. An obituary on the front page will make the papers fly off the shelves, but the results of the conference would also be fitting. Then again, an assassination attempt would also grab everyone's attention. World Economic Newspaper Company President Morgan's. Okay. So there was a death at the reverie, but they're saying the results of the conference could could be published on the front page as well, but then an assassination attempt. So what does this mean? Does this mean that the death, the person who has died, was an assassination attempt? Or assassination attempt? I guess if I guess when it's worded like that, it means that there was an attempt, an, an attempt on assassination, but the person wasn't killed, but someone still died. So is this the attacker? Or did someone else get caught in the crossfire? So what's going on? And we're cutting to the reactions. Um, this guy that's talking to him, he looks like the... Uh, he looks like Na Nami's uh, guardian? Yeah. This dude looks weird. Uh, we'll publish two of them on the front page. Make the back of the newspaper look like a front page story as well. Yes, sir. President, we've, we've received an express letter from the government. Who? Oh, this check is quite hefty amount. I suppose they want me to change the headline. I wonder which which one it's about. <laughs> Send it back. There's no way I can let this incident be covered up. Ooh. So the guy who just gave him the uh, the check, the envelope with the check in it, he's got like that... Doo, you know, that Metal Gear Solid do on him. And Okay, this is creepy. He just pulled his... It's a mask. The dude who just who gave him the check. It's it's a dude in disguise, and he's just taking the mask off. Well, well, and he's pointing a gun at him. He's pointing a gun at Morgan's. I suggest this dude. This dude looks skinny as hell, and now he's got like I don't know. He's pulling up muscles or something. The fat falling off. The hat's falling off. He's got. He's. I suggest you do as you're told, Morgan's. Oh boy. So the government is forcing Morgan's to not publish what's happened at the reverie. That's insane. What happened? And now we're cutting to oh we're still at Morgan's and it, it looks like he's his place of news we news it 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 looks like a teapot but the 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 top part looks like a balloon of sorts is this like a blip is this how he travels what's going on Ugh, it's cipher pool 
So that guy is with Cypherpool. When did he sneak in? And Morgan's is pissed. And, uh, holy shit, he knocked him out. Morgan's knocked the Cypher agent out. What the hell? He must be strong as hell. Don't you dare underestimate the amazing Big News Morgan's president. He's a government official. I may be a muser, but I am first and foremost a journalist. I am a DJ of words, one who occasionally spins lies to move the hearts of the people. I decide what gets published. Oh, listen up. All of you, this place is dangerous. We're moving our headquarters. Yes, sir. Morgan's King. Morgan's King Walpole is calling in. Oh, Morgan's is in cahoots with Walpole. That's not good. It seems like he has some information for us. What? So Wal Walpole is basically acting like a mole for Morgan's maybe, I guess? So, okay, I think we're about to find out what happened. Uh, this next page is, about, is, is the reaction of various people reading the newspaper. The, the, specific, the specifics of the incident the government failed to cover up along with the king's decision and the resulting incident, what king's decision, spread across the world like wildfire, stunning all of those reading it. So we're, we're at the Kamabuka Kingdom now, a revolutionary's headquarters. Wait a second, what is going on? Chimbaru, there's no way this can't be true. Sabo, isn't this the economic newspaper? That big fat lying bird president. And now we're getting a reaction to Ivan. This is Sabo we're talking about here. This is unthinkable, Chibaru. V, v refused to believe it. And now we're getting a shot of Dragon. First of all, we need to confirm the facts for ourselves. And now we're getting this chick. I think she's the commander of the... One of the heads of the revolutionary. She's got the same hat. And I think we were introduced to a few... Many chapters ago when we were introduced to the heads. To the commanders, I think. And she's saying Sabo. So what's happened? Oh, we're getting a panel shot of Koala. Sabo Khan. This is a lie, right? Is Sabo dead? No. If it's off screen, it can't be true. Hold on. So, so we're back for the second part. We're on page 11 and Koala is saying, sabo this is a lie. Le so yeah, we're getting this panel shot. Ivan, uh, uh, Ivankov and all the other revolutionaries. It looks like everyone's in an uproar. We still can't get in touch with them. How are we supposed to confirm it? The Gawa Kingdom Royal Escort Ship. Huh? He was in Mary Joseph. So we're... My my brother was there, so uh, yeah, uh, Sabo's brother, or step-brother, that, that annoying little shit. He's reading the newspaper and he's shocked that his brother was there, and I think next to him is either his wife or, or Sabo's mum, maybe? She seems distraught, like... My brother was there, he seems distraught, it's crazy. Jawa, Jawa Kingdom Windmill Village. What's up with... Uh, oh, it's Makio in the bar. What's up with Makio Sabo-kun? She's closed the bar today. The world is filled with all this depressing news and we can't even drink to cope with it. Oh, and her baby's there, you know, laughing while she's sitting on the table crying after having read the newspaper. Jawa Kingdom, Mount Colombo. We just found out he was alive. How can this be true? The the gang, the mountain gang, in it, they're crying their eyes off. Sabo, this has to be a lie. So I'm assuming Sabo's dead. Underwater prison impel down and now we're getting a, a panel shot of... Uh, uh, Dolph Flamengo, though this world sure doesn't disappoint. Now it's getting interesting. <laughs> he's enjoying himself. I mean, this dude is chained up from head to from head to toe, literally, and like he's just sitting there laughing his ass off. Pirates Island Beehive, Zihahaha. <laughs> Blackbeard. Hey, you lot, we're getting, we're setting out. Instead of letting it land in the hand, letting it hand land in the hand of the Marines, I'd rather much take it for myself. What's he talking about? What does he want to get before it ha lands in the hands of the marines? Currently somewhere at sea. Hey, it's Colby. Hey, Colby, it's me. Ah, one second, let me move some requirements. Alright, sea. Fog. So, Colby's talking to someone on one of the snails. So, oh, that's what happened. Yeah, so someone's talking to him, saying that on the radio, on the snail. Go. <laughs> and Colby's responding now. Yeah, I'll be. it'll be impossible for us to clean up this mess now even with the combined force of all of the marines in the world. That's why, in regards to that thing we, we were discussing before, our soldiers won't be able to make a move as we originally planned. Well, we don't have enough soldiers in the first place. Wano, outside Iwazu Town, so now we're cutting to Wano. In any case, oh, I think someone in Wano is talking to, to Kobe. In any case, Wano isn't allied with the world government, which is probably a good thing right now, but there's also the matter of Big Mom arriving on Ogashima. 
the sub was talking to him by the snail, the marines are looking forward to those pirates fighting amongst one another. I'm sure they are, but regarding the clash between Big Mom and Kaido that happened the other day. So I'm looking at this person and it looks like they're wearing black trousers or jeans or pants, whatever, that's just completely covering the legs. I can't tell if it's a male or female character. They got long legs and they're clearly talking to Sabo, so this is someone that Sabo knows. Oh, what the hell? He's talking to Drake. He's talking to X Drake. What the hell? They actually decided to team up. Huh? What? Colby's response. What? What's going on? And Marine HQ, Secret Special Special Forces Sword Captain X Drake. Drake. Holy shit! He's a spy. He's a fucking spy. Part of my French, but holy shit, this is big, guys. Drake is a spy. He's he's in Kaido's group, and he's actually spying on him for the Marines. Secret, secret special forces sword. I swear to God, that's some next Agents of Sword Marvel thing they're pulling here, man. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. So, the potential there of Drake teaming up with the Straw Hats is is up there right now. Oh my god, guys, I'm getting excited for the potential Supernova team up, man. Like, you can count Drake in the list right now, because I can't see him helping cut and cut you if shit gets worse. Like, uh, he's in one of the, yeah, he's in the, one of the abandoned towns. Regarding Straw Hat Luffy, there hasn't been any reports of a prison break. We're pretty much in a stalemate right now. And there's one more piece of bad news. The other day in the capital, and now we're cutting back to Col Kobe as he's listening onto this, I saw CPO. What? Why are they in Wano? I don't want to think about it, but... Marine HQ Rear Admiral and member of the SWORD unit, Colby. Holy crap, him and Drake are on the same team. Holy shit, what is going on? Don't tell me Colby's gonna come to Wano, like... Shit, guys, things things, is, things are getting crazy, man. Sabo might be dead. Uh, so he's potentially the death. There was an assassination attempt. Uh, we don't know what the major things were that the kings and the leaders all discussed, but it, it must have been huge. Uh, now we're cutting to the ships again. It must mean that the government is making its own deals with Wano, a country run by pirates. I couldn't think straight after realising it. Where are you right now? And Col Colby's answering, I'm on my way to the island of women to capture the pirate empress Boa Hancock. Oh, that's right. What is... Wait, why? Various countries around the world. Uh, so teaming up with pirates was never a good... So these guys are celebrating team up with pirates was never a good idea. That group should have been disbanded ages ago. The leaks were true, man. <laughs> so they're finally getting rid of them. Those dogs of the government. The pirate empress, Hawkeyes, a clown. From this conference, the news that shocked the people of the world was what the most was. Weren't they one of the three main powers of the world? Are we going to be alright? So who's this king that's saying this? The abol the abolition the abom the abolition of the seven warlord system. Holy crap. Fujitora actually managed to get through with his with his dream of, of abolishing the seven warlords. They did it. They actually abolished them. Holy shit. Yes, how dare those uh, plunders act all high and mighty. They played a big part in the summit war. Apparently they're all gonna get captured. Holy crap. Mihawk, Hancock, uh, oh god, Buggy man, they're screwed. So yeah, we're getting a panel of uh, the King of Dressrosa and Cobra. So King Ruku, the proposal from the kings of the two kingdoms who suffered under the warlords sent the conference into a heated debate. In the end, a majority backed the motion and so it was passed. Ah, so it was thanks to King Ruku and King Cobra at New World, Karibari Island as such. The power and authority you warlords hold now and uh, hold has now been stripped. The world government has cut all ties with you. Buggy. In other words, you're now just a normal pirate. Oh shit, and now we're cutting to Buggy now. That's dirty. You bastards, how could you decide something like that without consoling us? You're gonna capture us now that we're of no news to you anymore? You lot have no honour. Buggy's delivery chairman, former warlord. Buggy the star clown. And we're seeing all these members, Chairman Buggy. They're completely surrounded the beach. Just because Crocodile and Deflamingo are acted out of line doesn't mean you can take it out on us. My life plan is in ruins now. What should we do? Should we run, huh? We're gonna fight them. 
as expected of Chairman Buggy, show them that spirit. Yeah, I'm hightailing it out of here while the new lot keep him distracted. What a coward and a pussy. And now we're cutting to a uh, Corrigana Island ruins of Monkey Kingdom. So we're cutting to Mihawks now. Surrender at once. So there's ships arriving on his island. You can see his castle in the distance. There's some next um, nightmare on Christmas design here with the way the mountains are shaped and circle. Hawkeye's Mihawk. So we're getting a panel of badass Mihawk. It's been it's been quite some time since I was the one being chased. I can't help but tremble with excitement, Fufu. Former warlord Hawkeye's Dracula, Dracul, Dracula, Mihawk, New World on a certain island. So now we're on a certain island and it's Weevil. Remember Weevil? He was introduced like ages ago. He's with his mom and he's surrounded by a bunch of marines with shields. What should we do, mommy? She's not responding, huh? Oh, our marine allies are surrounding us. I forgot he was a warlord as well, because there's five of them, weren't there? He's more, it looks like they're no longer our allies. Unforgivable. We will take them all out. Really? Then I'm going to kill all of you in the name of Whitebeard. Former warlord, self-proclaimed Whitebeard Jr. Edward Weevil. <laughs> Island of Women, Amazon Lily. Snake Princess, it's terrible. We got stripped of our, of our warlord authority. Snake Princess, the Marines are just offshore. And now we're getting a shot of, Ban of Hancock, and she doesn't seem phased at all. Don't panic. I hope they haven't forgotten that the reason we, we became warlords was because of how powerful we are. Everybody's on the board. Formal warlord, pirate empress. And that's how it ends, with a shot of... Uh, with, uh, with, uh, with her, so... Uh, uh, Hancock, uh, Mihawk, uh, Buggy, Weevil... So it's only four. There was only four. Uh, uh, Shinji Boku left after this. It's. I swear it feels like there was more. Huh. Weird. <laughs> uh, interesting. I, I guess Don Flamingo would, would have been the fifth one, didn't it? So because he was the only. He was one of the original. Yeah. I guess. Crazy man. Um. What a chapter. So the, the system's been abolished. So all of these guys are gonna have to go into hiding now. Or do some next crap in order to fight off the marines that are attacking them and Sobo might be dead which is obviously bullshit he's not dead most likely they've either captured him and we're gonna get some sort of marine ford uh, part two with, with Sobo maybe about to be executed but I don't know man maybe he's injured and everyone thinks he's dead but he's gonna come back last minute or maybe he's gonna go to Wano and help uh, Luffy and then I don't know and Colby's going to get going to go and arrest uh, Boa Hancock, and the biggest surprise really is that Drake's actually with the Marines, and he's actually an undercover spy, so that's that's nuts. Man, I can't wait for the next chapter to come out, it's, it's gonna be crazy, what what a way to start Act 3 of the story. Though to be fair, this feels like an interlude, because I swear usually we get like the uh, Act start of the, the Act, the way Act 1 and like 2 started, so I don't know, I feel like this is an interlude before the actual Act 3 starts in one of uh, it's going to be interesting to see if there's going to be more chapters regarding this, or if this is it, and we're going to go back to, like, one or next chapter next week. Anyway, guys, that was my reaction to the uh, chapter. It was actually pretty good. I had fun doing it. And as always, like and subscribe wherever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, and bye.